the adrenal glands play a crucial role in the body, producing vital hormones such as corticosteroids and mineralocorticoids. These hormones are essential for the body to respond appropriately to physiological stress and to regulate the concentrations of electrolytes, those crucial minerals in the blood. While hypoadrenocorticism is recognized in dogs, it is considered uncommon in cats, with only about 40 cases documented in the available scientific literature. In dogs, the underlying cause of this condition is often believed to be an immune-mediated process involving inflammation and the atrophy, or wasting away, of the adrenal cortex. Antibodies directed against the cells of the adrenal gland have even been detected in some dogs with primary hypoadrenocorticism. However, the reasons behind the development of hypoadrenocorticism in cats have remained largely a mystery. Previous reports have linked the condition in felines to events such as trauma in two instances and primary adrenal lymphoma, a type of cancer, in three other cases. The use of ultrasound imaging to visualize the adrenal glands in cats with primary hypoadrenocorticism has yielded limited information. In the few cases where the ultrasonographic appearance was described, the adrenal glands were typically reported as being of normal size. An exception to this was a single case where one of the adrenal glands could not even be identified. Interestingly, the combination of adrenal insufficiency alongside enlarged adrenal glands, a condition known as adrenomegaly, had only been documented in cats in the context of primary adrenal lymphoma. In canine medicine, a study examining 33 dogs with inflammation of the adrenal glands, or adrenalitis, found various types of inflammatory cells involved. The study also noted that adrenocortical atrophy was more commonly associated with inflammation characterized by lymphoplasmacytic cells rather than other types of inflammation. Notably, inflammatory adrenal disease had not been previously reported in cats. However, there was a single report in a dog describing both enlarged adrenal glands and adrenocortical necrosis, meaning cell death in the adrenal cortex, accompanied by neutrophilic inflammation on examination of adrenal cells. This particular dog was found to have hypoadrenocorticism following an adrenocorticotropic hormone stimulation test, which assesses adrenal gland function. 12 days after initially being diagnosed with hyperadrenocorticism, the opposite condition of hormone overproduction, using the same test. Treatment was not started in this dog, and it died suddenly 10 months later, with a tumor in the pituitary gland being identified upon post-mortem examination. The adrenal glands were noted to be small and scarred at that time. This brings us to the unique case we are focusing on today, an 18-month-old spayed female domestic short-haired cat. This report highlights a previously unrecognized cause of hypoadrenocorticism in felines and demonstrates that the finding of large adrenal glands on ultrasound examination does not necessarily rule out a diagnosis of hypoadrenocorticism.